Knowing math facts with ease is something all parents want for their children, and I've got a list of resources to help you achieve just that. Hi, I'm Stacy with Kids Learning for Life, and before you have your child start memorizing all their different facts, you do want to make sure that they have a basic understanding of whatever math operation you are working on. So for addition, they need to understand that addition is adding two groups together. Maybe they've already worked with this before, and now you want them to become a little more fluent. I don't recommend you having your child start memorizing math facts just by seeing numbers and memorizing which number goes with which. They definitely should have an understanding of how that operation works. Learning math facts can be done with any operation, either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And right now, my absolute favorite way to learn math facts is using Math Facts Pro. This is a very basic website that your kid can log into and they complete X amount of problems per day based on what you set for them. So I have each of my kids set at 50 problems right now, but you can make that higher or lower depending on your child. Once your child completes their daily math facts, they unlock the Mars Defense game, which is basically just more math facts hidden in a game form, which my kids absolutely love. With the membership, it is going to keep track for you all the different math facts that your kid knows and which they need more practice on. Even though my fourth and third grader are more than ready for multiplication, I did just go ahead and put everybody, including my first grader, on this program at addition, and I'm just gonna have them all work through at their own pace. Next up are a couple of apps I have used in the past, the first being Snarg Splat. Snarg Splat is a free program that has a bunch of math facts and it will, again, track your student's progress. Your student will be asked a math fact and then they need to type in their answer and then move their little ball to the board and fill in the board completely. My favorite part about Snarg Splat is it does allow you to do two player mode and go head to head with somebody else. Now, if both users have used Snarg Splat, you can log in as yourselves and each person will be getting their own math facts. So this is great for my family because my fourth grader can play with my first grader and they're both given their own problems, even though my first grader is doing addition or, and my fourth grader is doing multiplication, but they can still battle and play together and be given questions that are good for them. Another app is called Teach Me Math Facts. This app is a one-time cost of $1.99 and it is very basic, that is why it is so cheap, but my kids still really enjoy playing it. As kids complete their math fact practice, they are able to then earn coins, and then they can use those coins to buy random different trinkets uh, for virtual prizes. Here on Kids Learning for Life, we really strive in only recommending things that we have used ourselves and enjoy or our kids enjoy. So this next app is actually, I did not use it, but Jenny did, and her girls are absolutely loving it. It's called Math Tango. Math Tango has a free trial, and then it's gonna be $8 per month per child. Math Tango allows you to work on addition and subtraction and multiplication and division math facts. As your child plays the games with the various math facts built into these games, your child will be earning and can buy different things that are virtual in the program. One thing Jenny did mention to me is that this program seems a little bit easy at first, but it definitely does get harder and harder as your child goes so that it's challenging them every single game. Those are all of my digital recommendations to get your kid to do math facts, but there are some non-digital ways as well. You can go old school and just print out some math fact worksheets. You can choose to time or not time your child. It really depends. I have three boys and one of my boys just loved when I timed him and would try to beat his time and everything and just loved it. Another of my children was just like, didn't care about beating his time. And so we just used it as practice. It's totally up to the child. To be able to quickly make some free math worksheets, you can go to mathaids.com. It is a little ad heavy, but again, it is free, and it's more for you, the parent, to go and print these out. It's not made for kids. I love the Math Aids because it does allow you to pick exactly how many problems you want and what facts to include and various different things that you can alter and kind of generate your own worksheets. They also have plenty of other worksheets that are already pre-made for you to choose from as well. If you don't want to deal with the hassle of having to go online and print off the worksheets and all of that, and you just want something pre-made, I do recommend some Amazon workbooks. One of my favorites is this big math workbook for addition. This is addition and subtraction. I'm also going to be purchasing the multiplication division. What I like about this is just the fact that the problems are nice and big. There's plenty of space for especially younger kiddos to write their answers. 
Um, I've seen some worksheets where the problems are literally this big and they expect you to write in it and that's just too much. So this all this specific workbook, it does have um, some of your basic facts, your single edition facts, so you could make copies of these and have your kids do it over. But why I recommend this is because it even has extra practice of going up. There's two digit subtraction with, regroup, with regrouping, without regrouping, same thing for addition, even going into three digit um, addition and subtraction. So I utilize this if my kiddos need a little extra practice doing regrouping or just a little more extra fact practice, I can utilize this book. Another oldie but goodie are these wrap ups. So these, it really depends on the day whether my children are interested in them or not. Um, for that child that like to be timed, he loves if I get two of these, then he and his brother can race each other. <laughs> so um, again, it really matters, but how these work is they're called wrap ups. And so this one's multiplication. And so everything on here is gonna be multiplied by one. So you start on one side and you're gonna do four. Four times one is the answer over here is four. And then you always come back to the next one on this start side. So two times one is going to be two. So you find it on that side. And then you're gonna come back up. 12 times one is 12. And then you would keep on going. And then on the back, once you're all done, it has the um, answer key. So as long as your lines go over all of these raised parts, then you got all of your answers correct. So it's something that kiddos can use on their own, check it, and it's reusable, no printing, none of that. Also with these wrap ups, there are multiplication, addition, there's even subtraction, division, and I've even seen some that have different things like fractions, and uh, there's all sorts of different things. So definitely look these up if you think your kiddos might like those. Next up are utilizing flashcards. I bought this set of multiplication. Um, the reason I like these, again, going back to making sure kids really understand the why, is on the back it has a little chart. So if your child's not sure, it kind of gives that, that visual cue of why five times nine is 45. It's because it's five rows of five, nine rows of five. You could do a flashcard set like this, or you could even just buy a cheaper version, or you could even make your own. When you're utilizing flashcards, you can just use them as your basic drill, but you can make games out of flashcards as well. So one game I found that my kids like is Math Fact Top It. So this is up to two to four players, and everybody is going to have their own set of multiplication facts or any type of fact, and then they put it down kind of like the game War, where whoever has the highest number wins. You can also reverse the game to be whoever has the lowest number. So everyone's gonna flip over their math fact card and then do the math in their head and whoever has the highest answer is going to be able to get all of those cards and then you can start the next round. At the end of the game, whoever has collected everybody else's cards is the winner. So again, taking flashcards and making them not so boring can always be a fun, break. Hopefully some of those tools help your child master their math facts and do it with fun. If you're looking for just other general math apps that have no subscriptions, you can check out this video right here where I suggest different math apps that my kiddos have used and loved in the past. See you next time and happy homeschooling.